Arnsfang is a rural municipality in the district of Cham in Bavaria, Germany. The population was 2004 as of the 2010 census. In recent years Arnsfang has focused on the production of environmentally friendly energy from biomass and water. The municipality Arnsfang is situated in between the Bavarian forest and the Bohemian forest approximately 16 km northeast of the town of Cham in the valley of the river Cham. The earliest inhabitants around Arnsfang left the Celts visible traces in the 1st century BC. In the so-called Castlewood towards Zenching is a well-preserved Celtic square enclosure which might probably have served for religious purposes or as a central meeting or court place for the village communities in the area. From the point of language of these first historical inhabitants can derive, by the way, also the river Cham, the village Arnsfang its name, Wang is meant flat field, meadow. This ending is preceded by the personal name Maruni. Pastures in the near Cham valley gave Arnsfang its name. From the pasturage of the Aruni, Aruni Wang became Arinswanch, during the 14th century then Arinswanch and, finally Arnsfang. After establishment of monastery in Shamyanster a church could have been founded few decades later also in Arnsfang in the year 795. The extraordinary size of the parish and the upper Palatinate rare Martin's patronage of the church are strong indications of such an early establishment of the church. It means that the parish Arnsfang is the first bifurcated parish from Shamyanster. From the parish Arnsfang the town of Firth im Wald was bifurcated and made into independent parish in the year 1585 and finally the village Dalking in 1697. The first mention of Arnsfang is documented 1173. At that time a knightly vassal of the Margrave of Chang was called like this village. Moated Castle Arnsfang 1607 at this time the still recognizable structure of the village with the both settlement poles were established, the church with an impressive fortification on the highest point of the old village and the moated castle lying below the cham with farmyard and mill. After the family of the Arnschwanger followed in the 14th century the family of the Kalebl and later the Pudensdorfer and the Saddlebonner. In the year 1426, the area was repeatedly attacked and pillaged by invading Hussites. When Emperor Henry was defeated with a large army in Bohemia in 1431 only Erasmus Saddlebonner, the Knight of Arnschwang brought back his forces again. The folk theater which is performed annually as the Dragon Sting of Firth im Wald, the so-called Further Drakenstisch references to this event during the Hussite riots. In 1489 the noble knight of Arnschwang Sigmund von Sattelbegin and several other knights rebelled in the so-called Lollerkrieg against the Duke of Bavaria. As a result, Arnschwang was looted and the castle was destroyed. Between 1527 and 1612 Arnschwang was in the possession of the Franconia noble family Fuchs von Wahlberg. In the Thirty Years' War Swedish troops invaded and looted the village twice. In 1633 the plague inflicted Arnsfang and 280 lost their lives. At this grave situation and catastrophe, the people of Arnsfang vowed to make a pilgrimage to the Mother of God in Visenregen close to Kosting every year. Moated Castle Arnsfang around 1700 by Michael Wenning in 1722 Alois Bonaventura, Earl of Croit took over the Hofmark Arnsfang. In this time the grand gallery above the vestry of the parish church was created, it can be admired till today. In 1801 Baron von Voldendorf acquired the estate Arnschwang. He started to build up a sugar factory, tried with the manufacturing of glass and boiled, finally vinegar also. 1826 took over the Bavarian government the estate and sold the possessions afterwards to different private individuals. On street. Michael, September 29, 1858. Almost the entire village was destroyed by a fierce fire. The destruction was so severe that the school building, the parsonage and 41 houses with 142 shops burnt down, and 240 people became homeless. With the help of a nationwide collection the village was rebuilt. In the course of the municipality reform in Bavaria the largest parts of the municipalities of Zenching and Nosswortling were added to Arnschwang on July 1, 1972. After bitter opposition by the citizens of Arnsfang the affiliation of the village to the administrative community Whiting was taken back after a few years again. Now since 1985 Arnsfang is an independent municipality again. Blazon, Azure, a lowered silver waved bar growing to the golden haloed street. Martin with a red garment and a silver coat, the cut with a sword of the blue coat, on the top left coming a gold, red and silver divided split plaque. The coat of arms was approved at the 19th of April 1984 by the government of Upper Palatinate. The community of Arnschwang is located at the Cham in the Basin of Firth and has a very old street. Martin's Church. 
In the center of the coat of arms, therefore, the patron street. Martin was put. Besides, his sword should also have symbolic meaning, because the municipality area was often affected by war events. Especially during the Hussite Wars, the village had to suffer a lot. The former owner of the Hofmark Arnschwang, Erasmus von Sattelbegen has made a name to himself by his heroic fight against the Hussites. Hence the family coat of arms of the Sattelbonner family which became extinct in the 15th century, also found admission in the coat of arms. The affiliation to the territory of the Wittelsbach family is underscored by the silver and blue tinge. Through the municipality area runs the route of the Federal Highway 20 which leads from Cham to the German-Czech border. Arnschwang owns a railway station in the section Cham Firth im Wald. It is served almost every hour by the regional trains of the Oberpfalzbahn. Close to Arnschwang a small airfield is located at the coordinates 49-16-19,2N, 1246-48,0E Parish Church Street. Martin Parish Church of Street. Martin the site of Arnschwang is characterized by the Baroque Parish Church of Street. Martin. The choir in its outer walls as well as the base of the tower are Gothic. Rebuilt in 1723. 1899 the nave was raised, expanded and extended by two bays Zenching Church of Street. Giles in the local part Zenching there is the parish Exclave Street. Giles from the 18th century. In 1730 rebuilt the church using existing parts of the wall. 1845 Enlargement by two side chapels. 1939 Demolition and rebuilding of the church nave. Patrona Bavaria Dance of Death in the Soul Chapel in Zenching the only dance of death in the eastern part of Upper Palatinate. Representation of the death in eight pictures. Probably around 1760 created by the painter Martin Joseph Huber of Kotsting. In 1910 renewed by the painter Max Schmaltzel from Falkenstein, modernized in shape and style. Patrona Bavaria of glass glass facade of the chapel in treading with representation of our patron saint of Bavaria as a holy Mary with a protective coat. It is molded in the year 2002 by the glass artist Bernhard Schigman in the technology of the lost molds. Modern interior with 14 stations of the cross and relief plates made of unglazed ceramics by sculptor Veronica Schigman of the same year. In the local part Noswortling the center human and nature of the Bavarian Regional Association for the Protection of Birds can be visited in the old mill. Draw tinsel with rare fauna since 1991 The old mill in Noswortling is in the property of the municipality Arnschwang. The area draw tinsel directly bordered to the LBV center was leased in 1979 by the LBV and by the arrangement or optimization of biotops as a living space for rare flora and in particular fauna designed and preserved. In Arnschwang there were numerous of the very rare subterranean stables, the so-called Schrosseliker. Labyrinth Fountain of Tony Schubeck Moted Castle Arnschwang 2012 Village Fountain Sculptured by the local sculptor Tony Schubeck on the occasion of the 1200 Jubilee year in 1995. Made of first and Steiner granite, the water channels polished, thereby brighter active, the remaining surfaces shaded. Source place and mouth of the watercourse and the fountain are marked with the annual figures 795 and 1995. It is two-story, long-stretched building. We will see the remains of architectural paintings as window frames. Of the original and the irregular three-wing palace, only the west wing has been preserved. The ground floor with parts of the upper floor still belong to the structural fabric of the 14-15th century. In the following construction phases numerous changes in the building have been carried out. At the beginning of the 20th century one floor was demolished. Since 2010 the building will be radically redeveloped. Thanks for watching.